What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ellis here, Rock Two Five Four. Man, as you can see, we back in front of the Cutlass Cut Dog with that six o. The we built. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, so, <clears throat> being that we got everything taken care of as far as the, um, you know, the engines is in there, sitting in there, is running. Uh, of course, you have to make sure that you have it properly cool. And so what I what I was gonna show y'all here is basically what I'm planning to do as far as the setup for the cooling. Now, uh, as if you don't want to go and buy an aftermarket radio, or not radio, aftermarket radiator that you may have to try to finagle and fit and you know make it fit in there the way it's supposed to and you just want to say use the stock the stock radiator you know a lot of us are doing budget bills we're trying to you know save a dollar wherever we can uh make sure it is it, it cools efficiently so what i'm showing you here uh, is pretty much the stock um Radiator hold down. It's a stock radiator. Uh, these are the Dodge Intrepid fans. As you can see, they fit fit pretty nicely. Uh, may have a may have to trim that to make sure that the well dep depending upon how it's mounted, may have to trim that or whatnot to make sure that the cooling line is clear. Uh, also, uh, but see, it, I mean, it fits, you know, right in between, right in between the cooling, uh, the, 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 the cooling surface. So, if your original radiator is still in good condition and you want to try to reuse it, then this, this is what I'm showing y'all that I'm gonna do. So. Uh, radiator hold down plate, stock radiator, Dodge and Shepard fans, get them from the yard, y'all know how I do. Now, as far as the radiator hose, uh, lower radiator hose, I haven't really looked at it yet. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be a very tight, it's, it's gonna be tight. Uh, I don't think I have the original hose, but it's, it's, it's probably gonna be pretty tight. Uh, so I'll probably just get like a flex, a flex hose, or I will see what other people have done, uh, for their cutlass lower radiator hoses. And then I'll go from there. Uh, now as far as the upper hose, as far as the upper hose, I have just this truck one here. Now, if you see, if you put the truck hose on that stock radiator like that. Because it's so long, see it's gonna kink right there. Um, then it's gonna be pushed back towards the, the alternator and you, into your drive accessories. So what you wanna do is you're probably gonna have to trim this down. Um, the way that I plan to do it, because I already plan on trimming this down anyway to shorten it, uh, what I plan to do is use uh let's see what i'll probably do i'll probably cut somewhere in here that way this is shortened and it doesn't push back into that like that uh after i cut it then i'll kind of know kind of more so where i stand now if you are are concerned about your cooling port now the cooling ports i don't have them on yet but they're gonna come from right here or they run through the throttle body or you can bypass it and run it straight through there uh but they come off of here and they usually run over to the radiator in the stock application however uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you uh a part that i i found uh that was a solution for this issue so what i have right here is a water outlet part number 902-996 
Uh, and so basically, this is going to give you a place where you can run your coolant hose off of your throttle body or off of the engine. Uh, it uses, like I said, it usually go, in the stock application, it goes back to the radiator. But if you're not changing your radiator and you're looking for a solution, this right here is it. Part number. One more time. I know people gonna ask, what's the part number? 902-996. So, what you do here? I mean, it is at a, a little bit of an angle. So. The pit, you're gonna have to, I'm not gonna show you it like exactly, exactly, exactly how to put it in. Uh, but you pretty much, you're gonna have to cut your hose. Because it is at an angle, you're gonna have to measure and you know find the correct angle at which you're gonna need to put this at so that it will go back. So that it'll make, so that it will work for your application. Like I said, everybody the application is gonna be different. Uh, you definitely want to look at and measure and you know you might even want to take a I mean this hose is one I got from the junkyard so this will be like my test hose I'll do my cuts um, to kind of see where I need to cut it at or it may be a better solution out there for as far as the upper hose however if you are going or trying to get rid of or find a solution for your coolant hose and this is the part number right here, 902-996. I'm only saying it this many times because I so many times get so many comments. What's the part number? What's the part number? So this one is for y'all. Part number 902-996. So that's pretty much what it what was gonna have to do. I gotta get ready to go to work. I ain't gonna have time to do this right now. So I did wanna go ahead and shoot this video, get it out to y'all and let y'all know you know what I'm saying that's that's what I'm planning to do uh, as far as the cooling solution here. Uh, either cutting up this hose, or I'm gonna find another hose uh, that will you know fit maybe better. Uh, if you look at it, uh, you got about from that neck over to here is about two feet, give or take. I mean, of course, you need a little bit more room if it's gonna curve, because it does curve up and then like kind of over. Uh, so that's something to keep in intact or to keep in mind. So as I come across and do more research, uh, I will put a video out and I will let y'all know what I find. Um, but I don't always just like to go get information off of the internet and regurgitate it. I like to try to do my own research and you know bring y'all something that's different you know what i'm saying but this will fit uh on the end of this hose like that so it fits right off in there now see so it fits right off in there so it is the right diameter uh all you have to do is like i said find where you want to cut at I'm saying cut it and then it gives you that outlet to where you can run your coolant uh, bypass back into your cooling system at the highest point, which would be the top way of the hose. That's just an alternative. I mean, some people I know they, they drill into the top of their water pump and all of that, but I wanted to see if I could find something different. Uh, and I did. So. I'm gonna give this a try and see how it works. Like I say, it's more than one way to skin a cat. But you know, all cats matter. Even cat logo. <laughs> all right, man, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I gotta go get ready for work, man. It's your boy, LSJ Rod 254. Remember, identify your weaknesses, make it your strength. Life is all about choice to choose while you're in productivity or procrastination. And remember that the hustle don't stop, the grind don't stop. Don't.